What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of The Pick List, where we discuss the topic and you pick your option. I am your host, Supreme Nostalgia. If you're coming back for the first time, or if you're coming for the first time, welcome. If you're coming back again, welcome. And um, yeah, so I'm watching Club Shay Shay, man. And I'm just watching Club Shay Shay. I'm like, yo, Marlon Wayne was on Club Shay Shay. I'm like, yo, this is an amazing interview. Like, cause he had that whole thing with Vlad going, um, DJ Vlad going, because Vlad didn't want my, want to pay my man's Marlon Wayans didn't want to pay him his forty thousand dollars because he claimed that's not what he's worth. How you gonna tell another man what he's worth, Vlad? That's crazy. But Club Shay Shay picked him up, and um, they did an amazing interview, interview, and I and it got me just thinking like, yo, the Wayans family is crazy influential and comedy they made a lot of my fe- fucking favorite movies so you know i had to do a pick list on the wayne's family had to and matter of fact we're gonna get the wayne's family a round of applause real quick round of applause for the wayne's family is what they did for culture and you know what what they doing in comedy and entertainment I love the Wins family, hands down. So, made me think about what is my favorite, my favorite, my favorite Wins movies. Movies. Because, as you know, 90s, they killed it. Um, And it started with Ivory Wins in the 80s with the Cupid, with um, Hollywood Shuffle. I almost said the Cupid Shuffle. But Hollywood Shuffle in the 80s. But, um... I'm talking about the 90s. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The Wayans brothers killed that shit. So, I'm going to go in here and name my first Wayans. My my, my, my number one Wayans movie. And this is in order. This is in order now. My number one Wayans movie. I'm going to have to go Low Down Dirty Shame. If you don't, if you ain't seen Low Down Dirty Shame. I'm talking about Keenan Ivory Wayans was Shaft. That nigga was our Shaft in Low Down Dirty Shame. I'm talking about nigga. I was watching Low Down Dirty Shame when I was like, God damn it, six, seven years old. My mama watched, letting us watch Low Down Dirty Shame. And we were questioning it as kids. I'm talking about we going over our cousin's houses and shit. And we like, hey, make sure y'all bring the VHS sets. We had VHS tapes back in the day. We didn't have no DVDs, one no streaming. But make sure y'all bring that tape. Low down, dirty shame. And we would watch that shit over and over and over again. Because, first of all, it had action in it. This shit was just hilarious. Funny as fuck. And, man... Keenan Ivory Wayans, he killed that shit, especially with um, Jada Pickett. Peaches, love Jada Pickett in that damn movie. She was amazing. Um, and that movie was dope as fuck. I'm talking about they had so many lines in that movie that I didn't get until this fucking day. Especially like the, um, especially like the, um, the lines that um, Wayne, um, well, I think his name was Wayman. Um, it was the it was the gay guy that was in the movie. He was saying so many lines that I didn't get until this motherfucking day. I'm like, yo, damn, they they was they was they was saying that shit. But I but I'm like, yo, I'm just now getting into the to this day. And I'm like, yo, that movie was fucking amazing. The action in the movie was dope. Um, the storyline was dope. Um, if you ain't seen the um Low Down Dirty Shame, that's a great fucking film. Low Down Dirty Shame. That's one of my fucking favorite movies. That's number one. Like, hands fucking down. All right, we're going to get into the second one. I got them written down on my phone. So, I know everybody know this movie. This should be in everybody's fucking top, top five, at least. At least. This should be in everybody's top five. Let me do it real quick. White Chicks. White chicks gotta be in your top fucking five movies because white chicks was funny as hell. Came out in the early 2000s. White chicks was funny as hell, man. Everybody know the lines from fucking white chicks. 
if I could walk into your uh, and that's when you was um I think I think I may have got introduced to um fucking Terry Crews to white chicks. I don't know if I may have, I may have seen him before, but that's why I remember him from was from white chicks because they played the hell out them motherfucking white chicks and it was another comedy action movie which comedy action movies are my fucking favorite type of movies it was another comedy action movie white chicks was just hilarious as far as uh, as far as the storyline as far as um being creative as far as it was nothing like you ever seen before and it was also controversy at the same time but everybody was like yo this shit is fucking brilliant you had two black men dressing up as imitating white women. You cannot do that shit nowadays. Hell no. Two black men imitating white women. Oh my goodness. That that shit would, would not fly. They're, um, they're the only ones who can do it because they made that shit so goddamn funny. It was undeniable. That shit was fucking undeniable. You couldn't even fucking get pissed off or upset because the, sh- the movie and the art was so funny. Like, come on, man. I, To be honest, I think they the only ones who could have really pulled that shit off. So, white chicks got to be in there in your top um, movies all t- of all time. I'm only saying it was my number two because... I grew up on Low Down Dirty Shame. That's like nostalgia for me. That's like how it all started with me from um from me in the Wins um with the Wins family. That's how it all started for me. It was it was Low Down Dirty Shame. Of course I knew him through Living Color and things like that. But I really, really started paying attention to um Keenan Ivory Rain Wins and his sister was on there. She was funny as fuck. Um, I really started paying attention to them and started really like grasping towards them was Low Down Dirty Shame. So, number two. Number two. Um, no, not even number two. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. I'm on number three. I'm tripping. I'm going to go on here and go with more money. More money. More money. More money. That was my motherfucking shit. I love more money because I ain't gonna lie. King, um, not Kenny Ivory Wayans, but Marlon Wayans and Damon Wayans are my fucking favorite Wayans brothers and the ones that's in the family. As far as those, those are my favorite. I like those two the most. I'm not saying they the funniest. But they the funniest. I'm not saying they the funniest. Like this is like take my word. They the funniest over every fucking body. I'm just saying they're they're my favorite. I love them the most because they're the funniest to me. Like oh my goodness, that fucking movie was amazing. That that movie was it, and plus it was made in Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. If you don't know, I am from Chicago. Um, that movie was just funny as fuck, bro. It was, I love the storyline. Again, it was a comedy action movie. Again, and um, it had Stacey Dash. She was the love interest. And you know, Stacey Dash in the 90s. It came out in the 90s. She was like that it girl. She was popping. She was, you know, she was that girl in the 90s. And um, it was, um, it was about credit card. It was about, it was about motherfucking cracking cards back then. Now, you know, motherfuckers were cracking cars back then in the 90s and shit like that. So, it was about um, cars scamming and fraud and shit like that. And, um, shit, Damon um, uh, and Marlon made a good fucking um, pair in that movie. Because that shit was just funny, man. It, it, oh, my goodness. It was just hilarious. And, um, it was good. It was, it was, it was, it was decent action. And, I, and that's probably why it's my number three. Because it was decent action. But the jokes in that motherfucker. I'm talking about um, when I, it was the it was the scene, the the opening scene. 
the opening scene what is what had me fucking laughing when um Damon Wayans was um was a crackhead and shit and um Cornbread which was Marlon Wayans was bringing up somebody to, somebody to buy an old ass TV to buy a new TV and you know they scanned him out his money because they was going around scamming motherfuckers because they was also you know like you know hustlers and shit like that they was just hustling trying to get by every day and and um that crackhead scene was funny as fuck. And um, I never forget this line in my move in the in the movie. He was like, "Man, he's like, man, I'm, I think I'm going to get a job." He's like, "A job, Johnny? A job ain't nothing but work." And I'm like, "You ain't lying. The job is nothing but fucking work, nigga, for real." And I li- and I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> I live by that shit. That that fucking quote: "A job ain't nothing but work." And that's and that's true shit, nigga. A job ain't nothing but work. And that's if you don't like that shit. If you don't enjoy that shit. If you don't love your fucking job. It ain't nothing but fucking work. I now to the people who love their job and who enjoy what they fucking do, nigga, then of course that's like a career. That's like a passion. You don't mind waking up and do that shit. But a job ain't nothing but work, nigga. But hey, we're gonna move on to my number four. My number fucking four is, and I'm cussing too much, man. I need to stop cussing. But this is just how it come out. And it come out natural. But anyways, my number four, Blank Man. Blank Man. Hey, Blank Man. So if you know Blank Man, that was um that was a, another movie with Damon Wayans in it. And Blank Man. Was from what I seen. Not saying it's the first in the nineties, cause I don't know. But Blank Man was the first superhero action movie I seen, and I thought that was so fucking dope, man. Thinking about it now, they was doing some innovative shit. Thinking about it now, that fucking movie was hilarious. It was hilarious. It was funny. It was another action comedy action movie. And it was based off of. um, It was based off of Batman and Robin. But they but they um, but they had called it Blake Man. And I think other guy is something something like that with his was his partner in crime. And it was about um, it was about politics. It was about um, a guy who killed his who um, who um was a nerd and he figured out a way how to have how to um make this fucking costume not this costume but the superhero the superhero um outfit or whatever and he will go around saving the community and policing the community and things like this because what fucked him up was this um mobster guy killed his grandmother and he was getting revenge back so he like man we got to keep this fucking neighborhood safe like, ain't man, that can't happen no more. They ain't going down, not on my watch. And the superhero was um Damon Wayans. And it was just a great positive film. You know, it was a great positive film, especially for black people. Cause they had um it was a black news reporter in there, and she was his love interest. And, you know, they they brung that superhero feel to that movie. And I wish that movie would have did like a like a number two or something like that. Please, but please don't try to remake that movie. If whoever's seeing this, whoever creative active, don't get no damn ideas. Don't do not try to remake remake Blank Man. The shit is fucking classic. It's a classic. It's funny um, by itself, and that was such a great movie. I love that fucking movie, and it gave me inspiration because I actually seen when I was younger. I actually seen a black superhero. Great fucking movie. So let's go. I'm going to give y'all my last one. My last one. This is a funny movie, too. I'm talking about this was a, a, a funny fucking movie. Last one. My bad. I did the damn claps and shit, but we to do the swipe. Last one is Little Man. And Little Man is on this fucking list. It made the list because... Not not to say it wasn't no great movie. It was it was a damn fucking funny movie. It really made the list because of John Weatherspoon. Because 
John Weatherspoon is hilarious. You know him from Friday. You you know him from him being the stand-up comedian. And you know him from the Wayans brothers. The Wayans brothers. They they was also a great a great three a trio. Or a drink trio. Trio. Yep, trio. They was also a great trio. Because him, um, John Weatherspoon played his pops. Marlon and Sean. Nigga, them, um, John Weatherspoon being the dad, they made a great fucking, they made a great trio and a great team. Because John Weatherspoon was, like, like he said, if you see the, um, if you see the, um, Club Shay Shay interview, Marlon Wayans said, like, yo, they didn't want to let Pops on, on, um, fucking the Wayans family. The Wayne, not the Wayans family, the Wayans brothers, the TV show. I was like, bro, that show would never be shit without Pops. And I feel like Lil' Man was a great addition because we got them, we got them to see see um them work together again in the movie. Because the Wayans brother was such a great show. I don't know why it ended. And then it ended so abruptly. You know, I don't know why it ended, but John Weatherspoon was always like he always gave that dad vibe off to them because you can even see it in the show that this shit was all real and authentic. And this time in the um the movie, he was playing like a granddad or something or um a granddad, but he was playing an older figure. You know, it wasn't their dad, but it was um it was like I think it was a um, wife's father or something like that. He was playing the father-in-law. So. Like I said, it was a good not 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 too much. This, this one wasn't too much of a a comedy um, action movie, but it was a great ass fucking storyline and very creative. Um, Marlon played a fucking um, a jewelry uh, a jewelry robber who was trying to get um, who was trying to get the a, a diamond back from um, from these people and these people had took him in because they left him on the because he was he he got he put himself on the doorstep and he acted as a baby and goddamn it these people did not know he was a fucking baby so they had them they got him in the house and shit and they trying to take care of him and shit meanwhile while they fucking not paying attention and shit this motherfucker talking and shit walking around and shit sucking on titties and all this type of shit nigga he he then bit the whole motherfucking lady nipple and shit because this nigga got actual real human fucking teeth and shit. He then bit her fucking nipple and shit. And she was like, oh man, this is this one is a feisty one and shit like that, man. But nigga, that that movie was fucking hilarious, man. That's why it had to be on my top five movies as far as Wayne's because it was also creative and shit like that. Like who would think of a little baby fucking um, a little baby pose, uh, a grown person who was also like a midget posing as a fucking grown, as a baby, and they take him in, and all this shit start happening just to get the fucking, um, just to get the diamond back or whatever, but it, it was a great fucking movie, so I love to see, um, them act together again as far as John Weatherspoon, Sean, and Marlon, that was a great fucking movie. I'm glad that they brought him back and they, that they brought him back and they did the movie with him before he died. That was that was great that they did that shit and they kept a loyalty. And hell yeah, so that's my like top Wayne's family movie. The shit was lit. They had the era lit and you know Marlon still holding the torch and he keeping that shit fucking going. And I love how he speaks so highly about his family, how they speak so highly about their family. The shit is dope, man. So, and also, um, just just for just for the end of it, um, Shante wins. Shante wins. Yo, she she be killing the fucking game. Shante wins. If y'all know Shante wins, she is a stand-up comedian. She is part of the um the um Wins family. She's funny as fuck. She's she is fucking hilarious, nigga. So, if you made it to the end of this shit, I want you to go ahead and like this video, share this video, go ahead and um, share the podcast, comment, wherever you can comment with the podcast, and also, you on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I drop another video, and that's all I got for y'all today. I'm going to holler at y'all to the end. Peace the fuck out.
out。